Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue on with using variables here, and I want to basically show you how to put some variables into action here. So, um, one thing I want to do before we start here is I want to talk about another built-in function of JavaScript called prompt. And the prompt works like this. Um, uh, basically, a prompt works like an alert menu. Let's go ahead and look at it. So, we're going to write the word prompt, P-R-O-M-P-T. And then in parentheses, I'm going to give a prompt message. So, let's say something like, uh, how many pies did you make okay and let's go ahead and put the semicolon and basically what this is going to do here let's open this in the browser it's going to give us something similar to the alert, alert menu but it's going to ask for some information back and so i could put the number four in here i made four pies let's say okay well it did nothing because i've not written a function or anything to do anything with this but basically the prompt is much like the alert uh, but the prompt brings a number back or a response back it could be a string number boolean whatever um, so let's uh let's let's kind of turn this around and show you how you can kind of turn this into sort of a function here, but we'll not actually write the function. I just want to show you how you can get the um, the variables to start working for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable here. And uh, let's go up here. I'll start a new line. And I'll say variable, and we'll call this pies, equals. And then let's set the pies to equal this prompt. Okay, so here's our first line of code. Now you may be thinking, wow, this isn't a variable type we talked about. Well, actually it is because the variable pies, we set this to whatever the user returns. So if they return a string, you're going to see a string here. If they return a number, it's going to be a number, etc. So the variable uh, type will be determined by what the user replies in there. Now, uh, if you want a number back, you need to execute some more JavaScript to make sure that that is indeed a number. And if it's not, ask for it again or something. But uh, for our purposes here, um, we're not going to worry about that right now. So we can say the number, the variable pies equals prompt. How many pies did you make? Now, one thing I do want to show you real quick. Let's go ahead and open that document. It went ahead and made the prompt, okay? Because you said I need a variable with this in it, it's going to go ahead and give you the prompt, which is kind of what you can kind of expect. Um, anyway, let's do another variable. Let's say variable eat equals prompt. We're going to get some more information from the user. How many pies did you eat? Okay, so this is a little corny, but you get the idea. So it's going to prompt us two things. It's going to prompt us first, and it's going to get fill that number in for the variable of pies. It's going to do another prompt, and it's going to get the variable of how many we've eaten. And then let's finally close this off with an alert statement. Alert. Uh, and then we will say, let's perform some math. Pies plus eat. Okay, and so assuming they've entered variables, we're going to get something back here. So let's go ahead and uh, refresh the page. How many pies do we make? Let's say 10 pies. How many did you eat? Let's say three. You can imagine that we're going to wind back up with 103. Well, that doesn't make any sense unless we're regurgitating pies because I put a plus sign in here. So let's make that a minus. Okay, so it's real important to actually do your math correctly. Uh, we want to have the total remaining pies, um, which is pies minus eat. We could also create a variable to do that function. Let's say variable total equals pies minus eat semicolon and now i can just alert the total it makes it a little easier too let's go back over and refresh the page how many pies do we make let's say 10 how many did you eat three now we should end up with seven not 103 okay and uh by the way that was not adding them correctly anyway it was adding the two integers together so it was 10 and three put side by side which we'll talk about shortly so anyway so we are going to alert the total now so that is what we are looking to do now that seven all by itself was a little odd. So maybe we could combine a string in there um, with that total. And this is how you do that. Let's go ahead and put the string in. Let's put two quotes. And we will go ahead and say, there are now space. Let's say plus total. And then we'll say plus in parentheses, or excuse me, quotations. We're going to say space pies left. And we are done. Now what this is going to do is going to alert two strings with that variable in the middle. And we're using the plus signs to chain those together. Okay. So now you can imagine, let's go back, talk through the script. The variable pies is going to prompt to say, how many pies do we make? The variable eat is going to be prompt, how many did you eat? And the variable total is now going to be the first one, which was how many pies we made minus how many we've eaten. And then we're going to alert a string. There are now with a space and then plus the total plus pies left. So now we get something that's a little more, um, you know, conventional here. So let's refresh the page. How many did you make? Let's say 11. How many did you eat? Let's say one. There are now 10 pies left. Okay. So I just want to get a basic understanding of how you start putting this together to get functionality in your web page. 
and how it becomes more interactive based on what the user um, puts in. And this is a very 1997 way of doing things. It doesn't have a very graceful look to see that alert window popping up all the time. You can actually, when we get into jQuery, we'll be able to make things that are more like a form that are inside the web page that replace content and things like that. But I want you to get right now, without confusing you with user interface, I want to get you just your head around basic JavaScript here and how variables work, um, what you can do with them as far as math goes, things like that. Uh, how you can string variables together if you know if they're strings and integers mixed, and you know how to put these in your web page. So in the next movie, we'll talk about how to write a custom function that's reusable to do this with. So I will see you there.